Hi everyone, hope you are well. In this video, we are going to have a look at financial literacy, credit sales and receipt from debtors. This will be part one. So we are only going to have a look at introduction to credit sales and receipt from debtors. We will also be looking at different ways for customers to buy on credit. Also the National Credit Act and the Consumer Protection Act. Financial Literacy, Credit Sales and Receipts from Debtors, Video 1 Why buy and sell on credit? In practice, many businesses will buy their stock on credit or on account from suppliers. They will also sell on credit or on account to their customers. If the business can collect the money from the customers before they must pay their suppliers, it would be an advantage for the business. It's also there to help with cash flow problems. For instance, if you need to buy trading stock but you don't have cash on hand. Terminology. Accounts receivable, also known as debtors. This is people or customers who owe money to the business. Accounts payable or creditors. This is businesses or suppliers who are owed money by the business. In other words, the business owed the suppliers money. There are different ways for customers to buy on credit. An account with a retail business to buy products on credit or on account only from one business. So for example, Woolworths, if you were to get a credit card from Woolworths, it means you can only buy on credit from Woolworths and essentially you will owe Woolworths this money. Then a credit card, you can buy products from different businesses. This money will be owed to the bank. So wherever you buy, you can buy from Woolworths, Edgars, um, pay, but they will be paid from the bank and you will owe the bank the money. Then an installment finance through a finance institution. This is usually when big assets will be bought. For example, cars, equipment or property and will have to be paid over a longer period, over a certain amount of years. The National Credit Act. Okay, so this is uh, put in place to ensure consumers are protected, that all lenders follow fair lending practice, and that consumers um, are more responsible in their use of credit. The main point of the National Credit Act are the consumer is more informed when applying for credit. All credit lenders must run adequate credit checks to ensure the consumer is capable of the repayments. Credit lenders may not automatically increase credit limits on an annual basis. Credit bureaus must ensure the personal information they have relating to consumers and their credit history is accurate and correct. A credit bureau. A credit bureau is a company that accumulates information from various sources and provides information on individuals or businesses borrowing and debt payment habits. They help lenders assess the credit worthiness of potential customers. The Consumer Protection Act came into effect on the 1st of April 2011. It was implemented to ensure consumers were empowered and that their rights were protected. Also, consumers can return stock within the first six months if the stock does not meet its advertised standards. If products were purchased without the opportunity to view the product before the purchase, they have 10 days to return the product to get a full refund. Perfect example of this will be online shopping. If the supplier fails to deliver the stock at the agreed time, date and place, the consumer has the right to cancel the sale. The End